trying to teach, not preach. I got to sit down now. The last attack was Gershom, the mixed Arabian race. And I'm finished. You ain't even got to sit down. I'm closing. They don't know what they are. They're mixed. Mixing their beliefs, mixing their thoughts, mixing their religion, mixing their ideas. This is the spirit of confusion. How many of y'all so tired of the spirit of confusion coming against your house? Tired of the spirit of confusion trying to come into your church? Why don't you grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got power over confusion. Come on, God hasn't given us that spirit. God hasn't put that evil work in the house. You got to take dominion and authority. I don't want you to touch a neighbor. Touch yourself. Say, Sal, I take dominion and authority over the spirit of confusion. I lose liberty in this church tonight. I lose freedom in my home, on my job, in my family, in my life. If you believe it, come on, throw up your hands and tell him, yeah. My son, he's a mixed child. I really need, when he gets to a certain age, I need a black man to tell him certain things I can't tell him. God is not a God I'm going to keep preaching. He's not a God of mixture. He's not a God of co-mingling. Because according to the Torah in Leviticus 19.19, 19, Deuteronomy 22.9, you cannot mingle the species of seed. And so rabbinically it's said that this prohibition against mingling species of seed has to be applied to the grafting of plants as well. You don't graft an apple branch into mm -hmm. an olive branch. That transgresses the Torah. And see, Paul is staying within the parameters of the Torah. God does not like things of mixture. God does not. He is, a, he is a separated God. Separate yourself. He doesn't mix. My son, he's a mixed child. God does not like things of mixture. God does not. He is a, he is a separated God. Separate yourself. He doesn't mix. My son, he's a mixed child. They want you to have mixed. God hates mixture. He said, separate yourself from this world. Come out from among them. Be ye separate. Because the enemy wants to mix some things up. He is a separated God. Separate yourself. He doesn't mix. But here's a good lesson. I don't let society determine to me what is beautiful. Okay. Because if you do that, it always changes. In the early 1900s, all of the paintings, all of the women were big. So big was beautiful. Then in the 60s and 70s, if you were this big around, you were fine. Now, if you know, if you've got certain curves in certain places, that's good looking. In other words, they're trying to determine to you what you should like. No, I like what I like because that's what God put in me. He gave me my wife before the foundation of the world. So if I connect to the one that he has for me, I don't have to look for a note. 
She's fine to me. I don't care what y'all think. The way you avoid these types of situations is you've got to keep your connection with the Holy Ghost. You've got to let the Spirit of God speak to you and tell you this is the one to be connected to. Oh, I like what I like because that's what God put in me. He gave me my wife before the foundation of the world. That's interesting enough, but there's something we miss because we don't understand the Torah. Which we is don't to explain the Torah. Five books of Moses. In, your bi in the Bible. Right. Because five books. Or the law, some people say. But it's right. Torah. It means instruction. And so the Messiah, Yeshua, was speaking to a group of people who live by the Torah every day of their life. So then when they heard him say something about an adversary coming into this man's field and sowing a different kind of seed, they would have automatically picked up on the problem, and that is this. Because the Torah forbids, when you sow a field... I know where you're going now. Come on. When you sow a field, you cannot mingle, mingle the, the species of seed. In Deuteronomy 22.9, when you sow your vineyard, it says if you use a mixed or mingled seed, mingled, I want to emphasize that word. If you use mixed or mingled seed, then not only is the crop defiled, but also the field or the vineyard is defiled as well. So then, why did the adversary come and sow a different kind of seed? In the parable. In the parable. Right. Why did the adversary come into the world and sow a different kind of seed? It was to not only corrupt the fruit, if you will, but it was to corrupt and defile the entire world. In fact, in fact, we don't have time to get into this, but that's why the flood occurred. Because if you read carefully in Genesis 6, it said the earth also was corrupt. The field had been corrupted. But the seed then was the giants. The seed was the B'nai Elohim, or the sons of God, mingling with, with the, the daughters, daughters of, of men. men. Okay? I've preached that. Yeah, right. and it corrupted the earth. Right. The giants corrupted the earth, yeah. Now Because the Torah forbids, when you sow a field... I know where you're going now. Come on. When you sow a field, you cannot mingle, mingle the, the species of seed. In Deuteronomy 22.9, when you sow your vineyard, it says if you use a mixed or mingled seed, mingled, and when I want to emphasize that word. Why did the adversary come into the world and sow a different kind of seed? It was to not only corrupt the fruit, if you will, but it was to corrupt and defile the entire world. In fact, in fact, we don't have time to get into this, but that's why the flood occurred. what I like because that's what God put in me. He gave me my wife before the foundation of the world. So if I connect to the one that he has for me, I don't have to look for it. So when Jesus promised to give the Holy Spirit to his disciples, he spoke to him in terms of he's going to be your helper, he's going to be your comforter, he's going to be your guide, he's going to be your teacher. These are the specific words. So the Holy Spirit always keeps himself within the limits or the confines of these roles because this flesh is stubborn, guys. And you've got to die to it daily. And you've got to understand, how do, I, how do I know I'm being led? Number one, God will never go out of alignment with this word. He'll never go out of alignment. Oh, I like 
like what I like because that's what God put in me. He gave me my wife before the foundation of the world. So if I connect to the one that he has for me, I don't have to look for it. The last attack was Gershom, the mixed Arabian race. And I'm finished. You ain't even got to sit down. I'm closing. They don't know what they are. They're mixed. My son, he's a mixed child. I really need, when he gets to a certain age, I need a black man to tell him certain things I can't tell him. When a person has an identity crisis, it is a state of confusion regarding a person's nature and direction. So when I don't know who I am, I go into a state of confusion of who am I really, and I take on whatever environment. And this is where Satan messes with people. And when you care about God's people and when you care about God's place, then Sam Ballot shows up and so does Tobiah. Now, Tobiah is a whole nother story because he's an Ammonite, which is an eternal enemy of God because the Ammonites were a mixed breed. They were an intermingled seed, which they're the most dangerous because they get in the places of God, but they don't have the heart of God. And he's a result of an intermingled seed that through a corrupt priesthood, God in the house of God, you better hear, that compromised and so Tobiah gets in the worship, Tobiah gets in the instruments of the priesthood, Tobiah gets in the offering, Tobiah gets all his stuff in God's stuff. And the devil is a liar because we're about to kick the terrorist spirit of Tobiah out. Get the, see, you got to kick Tobias out. They finally kick Tobias out. You got to say, get the, yeah, y'all say it. Y'all say it. Get the hay out of here. My son, he's a mixed child. I really need, when he gets to a certain age, I need a black man to tell him certain things I can't tell him. That's why I love this church, because we're all mixed up. We don't know what we are. I refuse to pastor a black church. I refuse to pastor a white church. I refuse to pastor a Latino church. I want to pastor a kingdom church. But we got to understand each other. Sometimes comedy is the best way to do that. So back to my point. That's why I love this church because we're all mixed up. We don't know what we are. The last attack was Gershom, the mixed Arabian race. And I'm finished. You ain't even got to sit down. I'm closing. They don't know what they are. They're mixed. Mixed in their beliefs. Mixed in their thoughts. Mixed in their religion. Mixed in their ideas. This is the spirit of confusion. How many of y'all so tired of the spirit of confusion coming against your house? Tired of the spirit of confusion trying to come into your church. Why don't you grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got power over confusion. Come on, God hasn't given us that spirit. God hasn't put that evil work in the house. You got to take dominion and authority. I don't want you to touch a neighbor. Touch yourself. Say, self, I take dominion and authority over the spirit of confusion. I lose liberty in this church tonight. I lose freedom in my home, on my job, in my family, in my life. If you believe it, come on, throw up your hands and tell him, yeah, yeah. I appreciate Shane and his wife and uh, being here. Now we all know they're interracial. Everybody say amen. I'm sure nobody in this church has a problem with that. God does not like things of mixture. God does not. He is, a, he is a separated God. Separate yourself. He doesn't mix. They want you to have mixed. God hates mixture. He said, separate yourself from this world. Come out from among them. Be ye separate. Because the enemy wants to mix some things up. He is a separated God. Separate yourself. He doesn't mix.
My son, he's a mixed child. I'm trying to teach, not preach. I got to sit down now. The last attack was Gershom, the mixed Arabian race. And I'm finished. You ain't even got to sit down. I'm closing. They don't know what they are. They're mixed. Mixed in their beliefs, mixed in their thoughts, mixed in their religion, mixed in their ideas. This is the spirit of confusion. My son, he's a mixed child.